Hey guys, it's Charmise Idris here and today I'll be teaching you how I make whipped body butter and you'll need to start off with shea butter. You can choose refined or unrefined, uh, whatever your choice, mango butter, coconut oil, and sweet almond oil. And you'll also need arrowroot powder, which is not necessary, but I like to use it, and fragrance of your choice. And then of course a pot of water and a bowl so that we can use the double boil method. First, I'm gonna melt the shea butter and the mango butter because those take the longest to melt down. And you can use other butters. These are just the butters that I like to use. So I'm just gonna stir the mixture a little bit so I can get the butters melting a little bit faster. And then I'm gonna add the coconut oil um, because it's not fully melted. Now, if your coconut oil is already in a liquefied state, then you can add it just a little bit later. All right, and once they're just about fully melted, I'm gonna remove the bowl from the heat and then I'm gonna add the sweet almond oil. And the exact measurements will be down in the description below. So after stirring the sweet almond oil in, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half. You can also put it in the freezer if you need it just a little bit faster. So as you can see, the butters aren't completely solid, which I like it like that. So I'm just gonna have my hand mixer at a high speed and mix for about a minute. And then I'm gonna incorporate the arrowroot powder. Now I'm gonna put it in the freezer for about five to 10 minutes just to get the butters a little harder. Then I'll use the hand mixer at a high speed for about five to 10 minutes until it's whipped to my liking. And while I'm mixing, I'm just gonna add a few drops of fragrance oil. I use the black raspberry and vanilla, which is one of my favorite scents.
So now I'm just gonna bottle them. This recipe does make four four ounce jars of body butter. So I'm gonna take a frosting bag, but you can also use a Ziploc bag as well. And I'm just gonna put it in a tall glass so that it's easier to scoop in and it's less of a mess. And now easy enough, I'm just gonna remove it out of the tall glass and then cut the tip. Um, if you want it more of a design when you're putting it in the jars, then you can have the frosting tips, but I just really focus on it not getting all over the place. <laughs> Cause you can also just scoop it in there with a spoon, but it is a little messy. And the only issue I have with using the frosting bag is that since this body butter is made to melt on the skin, me squeezing it with my hand makes it just a little bit milky at the end. But I do typically use a fork or a spoon to shape the tops the way I want them so that the presentation is good when people open them up. And these four jars will be available on my Etsy today. <laughs> 